Hi guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today is June the 5th. It's Sunday. We all know what I do on Sundays. Tarot Day. Okay, let's get into it straight away, shall we? First card that my lady told me to do today were my little lovey-dovey cards. I love these guys, so I've got him here. Then I've got this one, and I've already drawn my deck, and I've got my ruins here to do last, right? So they're all ready, spread out. Little lovey dovey cards. I love them because they're little love doves. This one says, Love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy. So let's just have a look at this one first, and I'll put him up on the screen in case you want to pause and have a read of your own. Love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy so what right there does that mean that means straight off to me love would smile which means it accepts how it doesn't judge as it's smiling in um, unison of so there's no judgment or accusations every given opportunity so as to spread joy so every opportunity that doesn't mean just the good ones right so when bad stuff happens to us and we're put into bad situations or we see bad things happening this is our opportunity to smile without judging or accusing what's going on just accept it and spread more love that's what it's saying okay so if you see somebody, I don't know, that guy doing the illegal U-turn and you think, oh, there's a sign there. It says, do not do a U-turn. Don't get angry. Because what happens when we become angry? We are spreading the negativity. We're allowing some other force, which is that guy doing the illegal U-turn. We're allowing him to create the negative negative energy within ourselves so stop doing it guys i know from my experience because i've got a u-turn here near me and when i come out people try to kill me they do illegal u-turns there all the time and as i come out of the side street it could get very very dangerous there have been major accidents there with injuries okay so i do get a little bit triggered but we don't know the reason why people are doing illegal U-turns there. They could have an emergency. They could have a medical issue. They could have a lot of reasons why at right that point they have to do it. But the main thing is here, it's them that's doing it. We don't have to get involved. We don't have to pick up on their energy and make it our own, okay? So instead of reacting, which I've just mentioned in my last video, how funny is that? Okay, emotions are reactions to a situation. I said it in my video, the last one I did about our exes and do we see them in heaven? Okay, because when we react to a situation, we put that emotion into it and we are fueling it with our frequency, which is energy and currency. Okay which hello a lot of people call that money right because it's that frequency so stop doing it guys okay in other words l look at them and offer the love and compassion of the universe when i see someone now doing a u-turn up the top because hello i'm only human i had to learn all this too right i'd look at that guy doing the illegal u-turn and i'd say man i hope everything's okay please send down your love to help them through whatever issue may have been resulting from them needing to do that U-turn today, okay? I'm not judging, I'm not accusing, but I'm putting it into the angel's hands that if there is to be karma, some sort of consequence, like police involvement and they get a fine for doing illegal U-turns, that all comes back from them and nothing to do with me personally. So the first message of today, take yourself out of the situation. Don't get involved in things that do not relate to you. 
okay? It's all right if you've got close friends or family and you're all discussing a prospective job or a business opportunity or should I buy a cat? Because all these people are involved in that decision. But when we look at governments, authorities, managers, supervisors in companies, etc., okay, people outside of our control, don't get involved. That's the message for today, okay? Let them do what they're doing and just smile at every opportunity so as to spread joy, okay? We don't have to agree with everybody on the planet. We allow them to be who they are. And at the end of the day, you go home and say, thank God I'm not that person, okay? As long as I'm still nice to them, thank God I'm not that person. Because I do that, okay? So it's all right to do that. So then we go over to the lovely Louise Benton's card. So here's her card if you want to go over. There's her website. The link is below in the description if you want to go and buy a pack of her cards. So the card that I've pulled from her pack today is this gorgeous, gorgeous one. And it's called Ocean Dreaming. So as I tell you about the mermaid on the front, I'll pause this so you, anyone can pause the screen and have a read. So we have a mermaid holding up a ball. It represents more than just a ball. It could be the world, it could be the moon, it could be anything else that pertains to us this week. So let me just turn her around again. She's holding up this ball, okay? And it's called Ocean Dreaming. <clears throat> Let's go. My spirit hears the call of the sea, swir stirring the waters inside of me. So what happens there is we're getting all these issues. Um, we're getting all these thoughts coming into us. My spirit hears the call of the sea. We are getting drawn like a magnet to doing things. It's like we're getting messages. Some of us are getting messages to become healers. Some of us now are getting messages to go into mediumship. Some of us are getting messages, change your job. Some of us are getting those thoughts where it's like, oh, time to move, okay? So we're all getting these messages. So when your spirit hears the call, stirring the waters inside of us, what are you going to do about it? We can flick it and say, none of my business. I can't change my job. I'm not going to move. All right? Just ignore it. We can say, oh, this is a possibility, opportunity. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to. I'm going to do it at some point. Or you could be in the third avenue where it's like, oh, yes, I've got to do this. I'm going to make it happen. Okay? So let me continue with this card. Holding me in your swirling tides. Now, remember, lives are tides. Okay? We go up, we go down. We're going up. Drama issues are created. Okay? Just looking if that's a car at my house. No, it's not. I'll continue. Okay. Hold me in your swirling tides. Show me where my heart resides. Now, this is what we're passionate about, guys. What are your passions? What do you love? Because our heart is all about our love chakra. So what is it that you love doing? This is where we pursue that happiness. The pursuit of happiness, okay? So we go out and we make this happen into a reality. Healing, soothing, deep soul yearning. Deep soul yearning to me is when you're always sitting at home and you think, wow, I'd love to live by the ocean. I'd love to live by the sea, but it never happens because we just don't go out and make it happen. Through your mystic depths I glide. Creatures of the sea and ancient kin beckon me deeper and deeper in. I hear the sacred incantations echoing throughout the generations. So this could be something that's brought down through our generations, our culture, our heritage. Okay? Diving through luminous ocean caves, embraced by gentle moonlit waves, holding the vision of Gaia's dreams, cleansing and transmuting all that has been. So this is where we heal our past. We ascertain and we analyse of who we are, what we've done in our past. Did it work out for you? <laughs> I did that once. Didn't work out, so I didn't do that one again. Maybe I should not do that again. 
You know the old saying, how many times can I bang my head against the wall and I want a different result? Well, hello, you're still going to hurt your head when you bang it against that wall if you keep repeating the same old, same old things. So this is cleansing and transmuting. Search within and start working out what it is that you want to be in your future and go after it. Okay. Together we can play our part. To awaken Gaia's crystal heart, activating the transformation and guiding the human spirit to its salvation. Now, this is big. Do I need to repeat this? Together. So this is now not just about us getting out there and getting a better job, get finding a better partner, going to a better school or university, okay, doing all our own things. This is now where we've got to stand together and play our parts to awaken Gaia's sacred heart, activating the transformation and guiding the human spirit on to its salvation. Now, I've been receiving a lot of messages over the last week. I actually have been um, contacted and been communicating with a couple of other psychics I know this week. We're all hearing the same thing. Bitcoin, any other internet currency, <clears throat> all going down. And it's going to be non-existent in about three to five years. So this is where we've got to realize why this is happening. Because the currency that we've got now, cash currency, you know, like US dollars, Australian dollars, the Chinese yen, Japanese yen, I don't know, the euro dollars, all those currencies are about to fall, okay? Um, foreign debt cannot sustain what's going on, okay? If you look at um, international debt clocks, they're all skyrocketing, trillions and trillions of dollars every day. It's not getting better. So this is where there's going to be this huge transformation of a new currency is coming in, okay? It's probably going to be a one world currency, okay? We cannot fear this happening, even if it is um, new and then we follow it by world and then we follow that by order, okay? Or what everybody feels, if you know that three-letter agency, okay? What, W, everyone, E, feels, F, if you know that three-letter current um, agency, right? We've got to allow what's going on here. Okay, so it guiding the human spirit to its salvation because we are evolving, we are going through this phase, and isn't this a great time to be alive? Seriously, don't sit there and say, Oh my god, I'm not coming back to this it hole. Okay, it hole with a capital S H at the front, <laughs> like so many are. But remember, we all signed up for this, guys. What an amazing time to be alive, to see all these changes coming in. Be proud of it. Take these opportunities as a time to shine and talk to your friends and say, wow, I'm so proud to be here. Spread that love because we are in a spiritual war. It's been occurring now for about three and a half years that I'm aware of. So we've got to now get on top of this and who's going to win. It's either going to be the good energies or the negative energies. Which side of the fence he is on, guys? I hold the vision of Gaia's dream. I know which side of the fence I'm on. Okay? I'm the one holding up this ball of hope so that other people feel it, we connect with it, and we all get out there and we're part of this new evolvement of the human race. Okay? It's a great time to be alive. So take these opportunities, because it is opportunities. For the past two years, if you've sat there and you started getting depressed, you've got mental health, that is on you. And I'm going to go there. It's on you. Because for the past two years, we've had the perfect opportunity to work out who we are and who what we want to do when we get through this period. Okay? Look at me. The last two years for me has been fantastic. Okay? Fantastic. I haven't been sick. I've had no negativity. I've had really good things come into me for the last two years when there's so many people out there, woe is me, and playing the victim. Okay? 
So when we play the victim, we want other people to look after us. Who's reliant on the government right now? I'm not saying for like financial payments like Centrelink, Medicare, um, what do you call it, social security payments in America. Get that out of your head. But if you're relying on your government to put food on your table, to have food in the shops, to bring down the price of fuel, then you're not doing this for the right reasons. You're out of it. You've got to recalculate this, guys. Seriously sit there and say, right, what am I doing? What am I taking authority? What am I empowering myself to do where this is not going to affect me in my future? Okay? This is how we stand up in spirituality and we realize it's what we do that we create. Okay? And this is the truth of what's coming out this week. We've now got to decide, are we going to continue being the sarcastic, the gossipers? Are we still going to accuse other people? Why? Oh my gosh, I do not like the word why. Why is that guy doing the illegal U-turn? Why is petrol double what it was three months ago? Why is there no food on the shops, on the shelves? All that is accusations. That's all ultimatums. Because if, if there's no food, I can't do that. But instead, you say, thank you, there's no food. Because now I've got the opportunity. Every opportunity is worth smiling at, guys. I've now got the opportunity. I can go down to that fruit shop and start eating more healthy. So think of it that way. We've got to change our mindset. That's what's happening this week. Okay? This week is gold. So we can start changing our attitudes. Okay? So now we go over to my tarot card. This is a doozy because it's the page of pentacles. What does he represent? I've got him here in my book. <clears throat> the page of pentacles represents... You should receive some good news... That will bring welcome changes into your life. This may have a financial or academic connection. So what I'm seeing, guys, this week is our opportunity to say, you know what, my life hasn't been going so well. I've been sick. I lost my job a year and ago. I can't find a new job. I'm not going to blame anyone else for what's going on for me anymore. I'm going to take responsibility of what I'm going through. I'm now going to say thank you for the last two years. I'm going to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to get out of that job. I didn't really like it anyway. Be serious. Who really wants to work at the end of the day? So we find jobs that we love doing. If you love baking cakes, go and become a baker. If you love tinkering with toys, go and become a toy maker. If you love playing with car engines, go become a mechanic. How many people do I know that are guys, they sit in an office all day at staring at a computer and they come home and they think, oh man, I wish I had time to work on my car this weekend. Because they hate living, it's living, because they're virtually living in an office. Okay? Nine to five, five days a week if you're lucky, it's probably more. So you're living there all day and you come home, you've got maybe a day to do what you're really passionate about. So if you're passionate about painting, you love painting or you love making crafty stuff, start getting there because this is what is happening, guys. The whole infrastructure of what we know as society is about to crumble and fall because money is about to crumble and fall, okay? People won't be going to the office in five years to work. Because all these big companies won't exist. That's what I'm trying to tell you here. Okay? Don't fear it. Really encompass it and say thank you so much that I'm alive for this. Thank you for allowing me to be here. One of the 8 billion people that are getting the opportunity to see what's going on. Ruin time. Okay? Let me delve in. I need one stone. Hello darling girl. Yes, I know you're still on deck. She's here. Thank you, darling. Give me one stone that represents the whole world for the next week. Oh, it's this one here on the top. It's you. Hello, little one. 
Okay, I've had you before, I think. All right, so I don't know how this one goes. I'm just going to hold him like that. Oh, I don't know. It could be that. It could. <gasps> don't drop him, Linda. Oh, gosh, I'm such a dill. He could be there. He could be there. So let's find him in my ruin guide, okay? Put him down so I can have a look. He looks like a Z. There's none on the back. Right, where's this Z one? Z, 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 Z. Is it that one or that one? All right, so I've got two here. Okay, so I've got, it could be that one or that one, but I think it's that one, isn't he? All right, so let's go have a look at them both. Hang on, just get my little stone. Itchy nose. Okay, so here he is. So is it, it's that one, isn't it? Because it's not that one. No, it's not that one. No, it's that one, isn't he? Yeah, he's that one. Okay, so it's this one here, guys. All right, let's have a look at him. Okay, it's that one. Yep. So this is called the I Was, the Yew Tree. I've had this one before, only a few weeks ago. Okay, the most important tree to Nordic people, the longest living tree species. Having very hard cross-grained wood, it was used to fashion longbows, a symbol of protection, longevity, and regeneration. Regeneration. It's time to change what we're doing, does. Okay, it's time to be that cocooned caterpillar that's about to come out of its cocoon and boom, out comes those wings and it flies. Okay, so we've got three dot point points. A reminder of the value of the things in life that are enduring. Love and friendship, loyalty and family. So don't worry about things that are only going to last a few years think about what's going to last forever okay longevity this is all about what are you passionate about okay a wake-up call if these things have been neglected and need more attention well i hope today has been a wake-up call in fact i'm going to call this one the wake-up call this is our week guys where we've got to analyze and say, do I want to be the same person I was for the past ever since I was born? Do, does Linda want to be the same person she was for the last 56 years? Because I'm 56 years old, right? Do I want to be that person? Who do I want to be tomorrow? Is there any changes I now in the present have to tweak, reassess, reevaluate? To get rid of those past behaviours, traits, grudges, regrets and issues. Heal, heal, heal all that so I can become tomorrow that butterfly coming out of the cocoon. Okay? So it's a wake up call, this stone. Okay? It's called the I was. A signal to be grateful for the things we have. Look, I'm going to put it up there. The last line. There it is right there. A signal to be grateful for the things we have. Now, isn't this one what it's saying? I love it when they all come together. Like do, 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 do. Shh. If you know that movie. Olivia Newton-John, John Travolta one. Okay. Listen to the cards, guys. Love would smile at every given opportunity. This is our week to say, right, you know what? I'm over this. I'm not going to stand by anymore and just let this happen. I'm going to stand up, grow a pair, and I'm going to start doing something about this. Hope I just didn't get barred by YouTube saying that. Anyway oops algorithm times but this is the week guys this is our wake up call get excited get get motivated get enthusiastic get your passion boiling and you say to yourself what is it that i have always wanted to do but the government couldn't let me do it i couldn't do that course i wasn't good enough for their course results or whatever Stop blaming everybody else and look at yourself and say, have I always wanted to be a drummer in a rock band? Go out there and start doing your drumming. Here's your drumstick, okay? Here's your drum and just start tapping away. Don't blame 
other people for what's going on anymore. If you want to do artistry, hello, here's your e- pencil, here's your easel. You don't have to go and buy an easel. Start drawing on the back of tissue boxes, okay? Because if your heart is in it, this is our time to go bang! And the world's going to explode in this emotion of greatness. Because that's what's going to happen this week, guys. It's like a volcano from the heart chakra. There's another quote for this week. The, um, the volcanic eruption from the heart chakra. If every, Can you imagine if four and a half million people can sign a petition to stop a certain Aquaman actress being in a certain Aquaman sequel? How many people can just go, I'm doing the best I can. Boom! I want you all to say it. I'm going to be the best I can be this week. Every opportunity, I'm going to take it to show others that I'm being a good person and all this goodness is going to come to me Because it's all eternal. It's longevity. I'm going to not let this drama consume me anymore. Hello. Visitor, guys. My cat just came in. This is Mary. Go on, look at the screen. There she is. Hello. (laughs) Mate, cats are so intuitive. Okay, here she is. There's Mary. There you go. Down you go, dumb girl. Oh, God, she's heavy. I don't know why she just came in to say hello. Okay. There she goes. She goes. Okay. So, guys, why do you think I just showed you my cat? Because when I love her, I'm passionate about Mary. I'm a cat person. So this is our week. Whatever it is that makes you... Oh, God, thank you. I just heard she came in for a reason. And I know because she never comes in when I do my videos. Hell, I've got over a hundred videos now. You never see Mary too often come in, do you? But she wanted Mary to be in it today because I care about Mary. I love Mary. Mary's someone I'm passionate about. This is the week where I show what I'm passionate about. Don't worry what other people think. Don't hold on to that embarrassment. Oh, God, people won't like it when I'm designing underwear. Who the hell cares what other people think? Go out there and do it anyway. Because this week is the week for great things coming for those who are wanting to be greatness. Have a good week, guys. I'm going to go pat my Mary Cakes now and say, good girl, coming in. and Thank you for bringing her for me. See, be gracious, say thank you constantly. Thank you for this life that I've got. Thank you. Thank you so much that I'm here during all this crud because it's an opportunity for me to shine. Have a good week, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.